All right, everyone, what's going on? It is 1st of December now. Hunter asked me a really cool question today. She said, Kyle, if you could, how could you explain bass fishing? Could you explain what bass fishing is in five minutes? So today, that's what I'm gonna try to do. But first, we're gonna ask Miss Hunter with no, she doesn't even know I'm about to ask her. We're gonna ask her, can you explain bass fishing? It just, it don't take your two minutes or three minutes. Explain what you think bass fishing is. And then I'm going to take my time and explain it in five minutes right after this. So without further ado, we're going to let Miss Hunter right there explain what she thinks bass fishing is. All right. Let's turn the camera around. Miss Hunter, what exactly is bass fishing? Let's well, hear it. When I asked this question, I meant like, if you're trying to tell somebody how to go fishing, how to do it like in five minutes. All right. Okay, so this is how I would do it if I was going to a new lake, which might not be the right way to do it, but I would find something different in the water, like some type of structure, some type of dock, just something that looks different, and I would hit it with, and I would hit it with a worm. Always any type of worm, shaky head, or sinker. And Th that's what I would do. That's it. That's all. That's what bass fishing is to, to you. No, that's what I would do if I was trying to explain. What how is to do what is bass fishing? What is bass fishing? Yep. What it what makes bass fishing special? What is bass fishing? If you want to explain it to somebody, explain to them how to cover their bases, what would you do? What exactly is bass fishing to you? Bass fishing is catching a fish with a fake bait and finding the fish and figuring out how to get them to bite under any type of any type of conditions. All right there you have it right there that is what hunter thinks bass fishing is that's her inter interpretation of it now man her the camera and i'm gonna tell you what i would do to cover my basis in bass fishing no i'm not using that this you are you want to use it. All right, so basically, I'm going to explain to you how to go about bass fishing as a whole. And basically, what you're trying to do whenever bass fishing is, to be a more skilled bass fisherman, you have to do a couple things. Number one, you have to be correct in your predictions about the fish migration you know, patterns. And there's a lot of things that I hear that I think are misconceptions, but for the most part, you understand that the majority of the fish are out deep in the winter, I feel like they should spend a lot in the winter, but they're out deep in the summer and the winter and they move up shallower in the fall and in the spring. Obviously in the spring they're spawning, you know, they're, they're moving up trying to have babies in shallow water so because they need their eggs to have direct sunlight, so they move up shallow in the spring. In the fall, the bait make a push up shallow, the light penetration goes down, so the fish move up shallower again. So that's kind of the way the fish migration goes. You know, starting in January, they're kind of out deep, move up shallow in the spring, move out deeper in the summer, move back up shallower in the fall, back out deeper in the winter. So that's kind of how they move. Now, if you want to target that, you have to be able to predict exactly the type of structure they're going to be on. And that's different in every single lake. But that's what you should be thinking about is the fish migrations. And then you have to cover your bases with the baits you're trying to use. That's the, another thing about bass fishermen is they're able to predict you know exactly the migration and also pick the right bait for the structure and the cover that they're actually fishing in that particular lake in that particular situation so i'll tell you what if i had to tell a newer bass fisherman what to do it would be number one cover your basis and what i mean by that is you don't need a spinner bait a chatter bait and a square bill and a swim jig and a swim bait you don't need those five things on the front deck because those five things pretty much catch the exact same fish a spinner bait and a chatter bait is going to catch overwhelmingly the same type of fish some days do they like a, a chatterbait better yes some days do they like a spinnerbait better yes some days a square bill outperforms all of them yes it happens but a spinnerbait and a chatterbait they catch kind of the same type of fish so what i would tell you to do if i had to explain bass fishing to somebody get good at picking the migration figuring out where the fish are going to be every day and then just narrow down your baits Find a bait you can throw on bottom. Like this right here is my little untamed tackle ace jig that I throw around a ton now. That's a bait you can fish on bottom all the time. That's a dragon bait. You can throw it around docks, laydowns, rocks. You can throw it around, you know, bridge pilings. You can throw it around everything that touches the bottom, stumps, trees. I mean, you can flip it up around grass. That is a bottom bait. You don't need 10 different bottom baits. You don't need a jig, a shake your head, and all that stuff. All you need is one to get you through. Some baits do outperform others, like I said, but you just need one of every single type. Here's a spinner bait. That's going to be my winding bait most of the time in the fall, which is what we have now. But this is a year-round type of a deal. Early in the morning, you can catch them on a spinner bait all throughout the day, and that's in the summertime. All throughout the day, whenever they're a little bit shallower and they're biting reaction baits, you just kind of need to pick one you have a lot of confidence in, 
try to figure out where the bass migration is for that time and collide with these fish for this. Now, to be honest with you, you only need two rods. You need something to wind and something to drag. If you want to get a little bit more specialty with it, you can pick up a buzz bait, a frog, whatever you have to actually target the cover in your lake. That's a little bit more pinpoint than these two. But for the most part, that's all you have to do. And then you have to collide with those fish's migration. And that's how you have some of your best days. The bait is the least of your worries. The number one thing is figuring out where them fish are, thinking about it, and picking the right bait for that presentation. Now, that is what I think bass fishing is. It's trying to figure out the combination of everything and making it, you know, doing everything you can to put all the odds in your favor that you can. And I fish on the Bass Master Elite Series. I feel like the guys I compete against are just faster and better at figuring that out. They figure it out so fast. That's what makes them so good. So to bass fishing, to me, that's what bass fishing is. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, or give me a subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see y'all in the next one.